So today I'm going to show you um, how to do your own uh, floral arrangement at home. So I've been seeing the Rameau Bouchon, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a bouquet of roses and it can range anywhere from 25 to up to 200 roses or probably even more. Um, so my birthday is coming up. However, you could do this for any occasion. You could do it for birthdays, mother, Mother's Day, um, for Valentine's Day. And so I wanted to show you guys just how to do the arrangement. What you will need is a Korean wrapping paper. Um, this you can just order from Amazon. I will be sure to link that in the description box. You will, of course, need roses. I've gone with the traditional red roses. And this is a mix of roses and baby's breath. You can just go with plain roses. The whole point of the Ramo Bouchon is not to have any greenery involved. So we are going to have 48 roses for this video. And then you are going to need some, uh, well, tool. I have a knife, but they ha actually have tools that you can buy to help to take off the uh, thorns from the roses. You're going to need a scissors uh, just to cut your wrapping off. You will need some elastic bands because once we start to arrange the roses, you're going to basically be doing them in a dome shape and you'll see what I mean by that. You will need some tape to secure everything. Uh, you're supposed to use flor florist tape, however, could not get it um, where I live, so I just basically went to the dollar store and I got painter's tape, so hopefully that works. And then you can top off your Ramo Bouchon with either um, like a tiara, a crown, or you can do like butterflies. I don't have butterflies, so we're gonna go with the tiara. And then of course your ribbon. So that is all, let's jump right into this video. All right guys, so I am about to get into the arrangement of the flowers. But the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take off all these stems. However, as I was going through, I noticed that most of the stems were actually not stems. My apologies. The thorns were actually already removed. So guys, I have a quick story time. So basically what led me to doing this DIY is that I had decided I wanted to do a photo shoot for my upcoming birthday and I went to my local florist and basically gave them a vision, told them what I was looking for and they quoted me $450 um, for 48 roses. That wasn't even including taxes. Mm -hmm. That being said, I thought, you know what? There has to be another way. So because I am the queen of DIYs, I said, you know what, let me go home and research. And that is exactly what I did. I got on Google and I thought, where can I get wholesale or roses at a wholesale price? That way I'm not literally having to like pay, I don't know, an excruciatingly large amount of money. Excruciating, not excruciatingly. That wasn't a word that I made up. Excruciating large amount of money for roses that... Hopefully, I'm hoping they're going to last for at least two weeks, but in the event, they will die, right? So that being said, I remembered that Costco has roses. And so I went over to Costco and if you have a membership, it's literally $60 for the year. You are able to get these roses for $23.99 for $24. Therefore, I bought two bunches of roses. Guys, with taxes, $51, okay? So, that being said, the only other thing that I had to purchase were the Korean wrapping paper. It comes 20 in the pack for about $14, and you can get that, as I mentioned, from Amazon. Um, tape, ribbon, I got those from the dollar store. Those were probably like $1.50, so we're at three more dollars. At the end of the day, I spent less than $70 when everything is said and done simply to achieve this beautiful bouquet of roses. So the moral of the story, I mean, unless you have the $450, by all means, <laughs> go ahead and spend it on flowers. But if not, I'm offering you a cheaper alternative to achieve a really beautiful look. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I think it personally turned out really well. 
I do uh, hope that you guys try this, being that we're right around the corner from Valentine's Day. But these are perfect for any occasion. I used it for my birthday. And I plan to actually do these for upcoming Mother's Day gifts, uh, birthday gifts, because I think they just turned out so beautifully. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.